Hi everybody, I'm Dave Goodrich. Welcome to my educational video on 21st century learning. Today we'll explore key aspects of this transformational approach to education, discover their relevance to learning, TPAC, political dimensions of educational technologies, and how they can be implemented in practice. Let's get started. The first crucial aspect of 21st century learning is digital literacy. So this refers to the ability to access, evaluate, and effectively use digital information and technology. For example, students should be able to critically analyze online sources, understand data privacy, and use digital tools to create and communicate. As a learner, I've experienced the significance of digital literacy firsthand. In research projects, being able to find reliable sources and properly cite information has been crucial to my academic success. Moreover, engaging with technology-enhanced learning resources has enriched my understanding of various subjects. 21st century learning emphasizes fostering critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Students are encouraged to think analytically, evaluate information from different perspectives, and develop creative solutions to complex challenges. For instance, students might engage in project-based learning to address real-world issues, collaborating with peers to find innovative solutions. As a teacher, I've already incorporated critical thinking activities into my classroom. For instance, we analyze current events, encouraging students to express their opinions and consider alternative viewpoints. These discussions stimulate critical thinking and broaden perspectives. Collaboration is a crucial aspect of 21st century learning. In the digital age, students often work in teams, developing their interpersonal skills and learning how to cooperate effectively. Group projects, online discussions, and virtual collaborations are examples of fostering collaborative learning experiences. Personally, I've participated in online group projects with students from different countries. It was a transformative experience as we learned from diverse perspectives and utilized various digital tools to communicate and collaborate across borders. Now let's explore how we can enhance our practice to embrace 21st century learning. First, integrating technology effectively. I can explore new educational technologies and find creative ways to incorporate them into my lessons. For example, using interactive simulations to teach complex concepts or utilizing online platforms for student-centered discussions. Second, embracing project-based learning. I can implement more project-based learning experiences that encourage students to investigate real-world issues and develop solutions collaboratively. This approach fosters critical thinking, problem-solving, and teamwork skills. However, it's essential to acknowledge potential critiques of 21st century learning. For instance, there are equity concerns, and some argue that the emphasis on technology and digital skills might exacerbate existing inequalities as not all students have equal access to resources or devices. Also, balancing traditional and modern approaches. Critics suggest that while 21st century learning is essential, it should not overshadow the importance of foundational knowledge and skills traditionally taught in education. 21st century learning is an exciting and essential paradigm shift in education, and by embracing digital literacy, critical thinking, and collaboration, we can better prepare students for the dynamic challenges of the future. By thoughtfully integrating technology, incorporating project-based learning, and being mindful of potential critiques, we can create a balanced and effective educational experience for all learners. Remember, learning is a journey that thrives on continuous improvement and adaptation to the ever-changing world around us. Let's embark on this journey together and equip our students with the tools they need to succeed in the 21st century. Thank you for joining me today.